Day seven of walking from Mecca to Medina. Let's go. Let's see. Oh, ready? Ready? Yes. It's not a wrestling. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Watch this, watch this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Some legs. <laughs> One bar left. Yes. Okay. This is the next, this is the next, you can the next one. <laughs> so it's a new day, and with new days come new opportunities. Mm. How many kilometers? 10 kilometers. Should I 10 kilometers? Yes. Oh, Allah, Allah, Allah. Let's go for it. But the last bit. Yeah, I feel hot. Alhamdulillah, feeling good. It's a bit sleepy today, yeah, I won't lie. Seven days in, it's getting, into, it's getting to me a bit, but we keep going. You know, some brothers yesterday, they take a rest. They will have breakfast in their car, iced tea. Okay. Sorry, guys, what can I say? What's my phone in the We're doing stretching now, yeah? Yeah, I'm going to do stretching. I'm good, yeah. <laughs> For what? Rafiq. So someone stretched too much. <laughs> Switch. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, three, four. I'm five, stuck in this position, six, brother. Seven. Eight. Look, I'm too wide. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody come here looking for water, need water, خلاص, this is, we'll see this mark, خلاص, there is in this area, there is a water or well. So this is like a sign for people on the road? Yes. At least up here, the water is just coming. These are the signs, or the signs are made in the place. Some of them are in the place. Some of them are in the place. He is talking about the signs, the signs, and the signs. Here, I'm going to show you that this area is where they are in the place. Some of them are in the place. For example, يعني اشكال معينه يفهموها القبائل انه مثلا في المنطقه هذه في مثلا مورد ماء وهذه تقريبا في مملكه الاحيان قبل تقريبا من 2000 ل 3000 سنه. If you go straight down there you go towards Riyadh, if you go straight over here, we're going towards Medina. But now as we're walking through, we're seeing a graveyard. We're not too sure who this grave actually belongs to, but we just, you know, say salam as long as we go in. For me personally, day seven was one of my favorite days of the Hijrah. Reason being is because of a place called Wadi di Salam. Literally, from day one, we've been told about this place. And the reason why it's my favorite place is the most narrowest out of the whole Hijrah trek, yeah? It's around one meter, two meters in width. And subhanAllah, these are the exact same footsteps the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu and Abu Bakr actually took as they were going towards Medina. Don't get it twisted. We did follow the exact track of the Hijrah route these last few days. However, when we're walking, we're using a large piece of land. We can't pinpoint the exact step the Prophet took. But then when the pathway gets as narrow as one meter in width, you can be sure that you're experiencing the same journey and seeing the same mountains that our beloved Prophet Sallallahu saw. And Alhamdulillah, not only was it beautiful to see, but it also felt surreal being there in the present moment. We understand that it's got nothing to do with Ibadah, but the thought of passing through a valley that our Prophet Sallallahu was in just 1400 years ago felt so surreal to us. This is Thaniya called Thaniya Di Salam and this is Valley called also Valley Di Salam. What's meaning Salam or Di Salam? Salam there is a tree, a kind of tree called Salam. There is many trees of Salam here in this valley. That's why the valley called Di Salam. I questioned how many people actually had a chance and the experience to say they walk past Wadi Di Salam. Not many, right? And that's what made me feel grateful, alhamdulillah. SubhanAllah, look at how crazy that is. He was here 1400 years ago. He was somewhere here walking. This location here is where Rasulullah had switched camels due to the camel's exhaustion. This shows us how much compassion our beloved Prophet had, not just for humans, but also for animals. How's the hike? Oh, tiring. Huh. Come on, well, come on. I'll be honest, today was my highlight because I went through the most narrowest part of the trek. Allah, every day is a new view. Every day a new view. I don't know if yesterday was better, today is better, the two days ago was better. Subhanallah. Yalla, come Yalla. 
Non, non. Non, non. Non, non. Non, Because of Hamza, I'm sweating a lot. I had to carry his camera bag. Not camera bag. Water bag. Your water bag. There's actually nothing to do with us. This is just. I mean, no, no, there's no more water. No more water. You're lying. Yeah, check. Bro, you see valleys in Saudi Arabia, always dry, no water, never, ever, ever water, bro. Like for me, I love my water. I want to jump in, have a little swim, do my wado, little jacuzzi session. You know what I mean. Bro, oh, Allah, I was walking past and I got shook for a second. I thought that was a snake. It looks like a snake, innit? It looks like a snake, don't it? Yeah, I see. Yalla, this is my life, fella. I'm like my hat to have a girl. So from China. I'm going to go. No, it's all right. Help me up, man. Hey, you in the market. Stand down, bro, Sheikh. We've been walking for about eight hours, been up since 5 a.m. currently, it's one or two right now. Very good, Major, very good spot. Today we're going to be having a shower. Let me show you the location of this shower here. In the middle of the desert. Oh, this is nice! Bro! This is better than yesterday. This is nice! It don't stink. This is nice for us. This has become nice. Oh! Oh my days, I've not seen a shower head in so long. Oh my days. What's the, what's that noise? Hello? This is exhibit A. This a seat. Before I was going this and this was my flush. That was your flush? That was my flush. Exhibit. And now you have a toilet seat. Now I'm... Even this is a blessing. Because <laughs> before this was that. <laughs> Bro, but the only downside to this one is getting wet for sunlight. Alright man, have a great shower though, yeah? This last week has been difficult for us. Such a huge culture change. We went from being able to access the whole world with a few clicks of a button on our phones to now being in the middle of the desert with limited access to things. But Alhamdulillah, we still have nice meals on a daily basis, constant access to clean water, tents to sleep in. We had it all. When our beloved Prophet Muhammad traveled, he never had all these luxuries. During the Prophet's migration from Mecca to Medina, there were indeed times when he and Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu faced hunger. They would face a desert with so little food and the food they had back then isn't what we would have now. I'm so sure if you ate what they class as food back then, you'll be so shocked. They had limited provisions. However, they relied on Allah and the support of each other to endure their hardship. So no matter how many kilometers I've walked, I would always be aware that my experience wasn't true like his as Allah tested him with so much more. Help us by joining our Patreon, subscribing to the exclusive content, and honestly speaking, it will help us a lot because we'll be able to make these videos like this. A lot of money, cost you, I made to fly out, all this kind of stuff. So please, join the link and help us, mate, yeah? Only four pounds. What's four pounds? Chicken and chips, yeah? Do it now. When I told you guys day eight was a huge culture change for us, it went from sleeping in tents to now being in a villa, okay? It was a surprise, we had no idea, but you guys are gonna enjoy it. And I'm telling you, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, share with friends and family, and I'll see you on day eight. Assalamu alaikum.